In this tutorial, we are going to be reviewing how one can acquire data through a method of imaging known as easy mode. Now, easy mode is geared for those situations in which you want to acquire optimal data of your mouse model or plate system without error. It's also geared for those investigators that may be somewhat confused by exactly what values to select for one of the several camera parameters that one needs to decide on prior to imaging. So in those cases, instead of using standard luminescence or standard fluorescence, one can go to easy mode. And in easy mode, you'll see that all of the various camera parameters are now replaced by three simple decisions. You need to select what kind of subject type you're going to be imaging. Will it be a mouse, a rat, uh, in vitro plate, ex vivo organs, or in situ mice or rat imaging, which can be very useful for getting at low cell copy number targets uh, in your mouse or rat model systems. Then you'll decide what your probe type is. Is it bioluminescence or any one of the four fourths listed here, which can be added to, by the way, on request. And then finally, you'll choose whether or not to do x-ray and then hit acquire. It really is as simple as one, two, three imaging. All right, so let's go ahead. We have the calibration device inside an Amy HTX, and we can go ahead, treat it as an in vivo mouse sample, do bioluminescent signal acquisition. We'll skip the x-ray for now and hit acquire. The method by which easy mode works is through a set of algorithms collectively known as smart auto exposure. And smart auto exposure will essentially allow the hardware to survey the field of view, to collect optical data from both weak and strong signals and provide an overall image that will present both the weak and the strong signals in a single image and enable the investigator to basically have both of those kinds of data presented at optimal intensities. You can see down here the progression bar of the smart auto exposure algorithm. And there we are. Let's go ahead and save this. And what you can see here is that we've acquired detection of both the strong and weak signal from the calibration device without having to select any camera parameter settings as you would normally have to do if you were to go ahead and image through the standard bioluminescence approach. It is our hope here at SI Imaging that investigators will find easy mode to be simple, fast, and a powerful means of acquiring optical data from their experimental model systems. Here's to great imaging.